how's it going everyone this is Sean from scale model car guy channel and today's video is going to be part two of my antique store junkyard or flea market finds might as well say junkyard finds <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes hey and if you're not a subscriber guys please think about being a subscriber please like share and subscribe I want to thank all my subscribers like always, if it wasn't for y'all, I would not have a channel. And I hope y'all enjoy this. Like I said, always hit your flea markets, antique shops, yard sales, garage sales if you can. There's still some good deals out there. All right. First up, this in here is an original issue. Look at the dust. That dust is, yeah, lots of dust. I got to do a lot of cleanup on some of these. But that is a tall T, not for sure what year, 27, nope, 25 tall T right there. It says right there. Y'all can see uh, it's uh, issued in black. Only thing painted is around the, the yellow. Uh, inside is dusty. All right, that's the first one. Put this over to the side. Let's start off with the next one. All right, and here, this would have probably been in a double kit where you got this, the bone stock, uh, was that Model A, and it would either had like the Barris Custom or, oh, there'd been so many different variations of it, but this is it right here. And it's molded in white, has not been painted chrome's faded off of it i mean yeah there's a little bit of paint right there but that's about it on the running boards well the engine got painted black but all this stuff here this is good rebuilders rat rods or if you just want to clean it up and put it on your shelf more power to you but hey i got this whole lot for dirt cheap and this was a collection some kid somebody had built back in the 60s 70s maybe very early 80s not for sure some of this stuff but the majority of it's the 60s and 70s all right this in here is falling apart but the parts are here uh this here is the i'm gonna say the they call it the cinder bug amt show rod whatever this is the uh stock version of it Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but as far as I know, I don't know if that's ever been reissued. Y'all can tell me or not. Uh, it's got the fire hat up there. It's, it's got lanterns and fire hats and the windshield's in the box somewhere. Uh, but yeah, let y'all take a look at that. See what you think about that. See if that hood comes off. I know it's probably wanting to. Yeah, it's got the engine in it. Uh, never been painted, guys. So that's another good one for the for the rebuilder stash. Let's get that one out of the way. Uh, then this one right here, and the wheels in here. Uh, if I can get it picked up here real quick. Uh, and there's the wheel to it. That one right there is not an AMT. This one here is the 22T, and that's the old Aurora kit. It was a double kit. It was a flat box double Aurora kit. And it had the stock 22T, then it had the custom version 22T, and that there is the stock version. You can see the parts were plated in gold, which they're about fading off, but that is it. Uh, I ain't even going to try to take that hood off, but it will come off. Uh, well, there's some really cool finds in here, guys. This stuff can either stay the way it is, clean it up, restore it, or it can be rat rod material. However you want to do it. Let's keep with the T buckets here real quick. And here is an AMT 20-something here. Let's see can't tell by the license plate my eyesight's not the best but there is another tea bucket that's a phaeton it's old it was originally molded in black as you can see the outside was brush painted 
very very dusty you just might as well call these barn fine all right let's go with the next one this one here is a 77 i would say y'all tell me if i'm wrong i'm gonna say mpc i would think it's an mpc guys it's been painted blue with a silver looking interior 77 right there this is not a t-top car uh there's the bottom of it you can see it was originally molded in white uh like i said i think that for sure is mpc y'all correct me if i'm wrong so there's that one uh here's one i find really interesting this here is like a it's a japanese 116 scale or 120 scale it's a mustang mach 1 and it was a concept car mach 1 right there it's a japanese obscure japanese company back in the day and it has if i can open it uh there we go. It has the engine. The door's open. Needs a good cleaning. It's there. And then in the back, it's got batteries right here. You turn this on, you can see the, the fan turn in there, or try to turn. And then it's also got headlights that work. If I can get them to work. I had them working the other day. Ah, dang. There, the headlights are working. There they were. There you go. They're kind of off and on. But that thing gets annoying. See, it has the drive shaft, but the drive shaft is broke, so the back wheels would have turned. Uh, so it was a motorized Japanese car. Something obscure and something different, but by God, I looked it up on eBay, and these things go for a lot of dang gun money. It's ugly as sin, but hey, it was an actual concept car. Let's see. The next one, wheel broke off. That is, oh, I can't remember the name of that. It's a Tom Daniels, uh... Tom Daniels flip nose impala panel. Y'all guys tell me what that is. I can't remember everything. There's the back of it. The side of it. There's the bottom of it. The grill. There's the... Man, I don't remember the name of this thing. It's been reissued, I think, as a couple of different things, but I think James Morris has one of those as like on his shop cart or his his uh his logo for his channel all right so there's that one it's kind of coming apart guys and that had never been painted so that's a good good restore here is i know that's a 70s mercedes it's probably a monogram and it's probably 124 scale and it's curbside you can see right there but it's monogram uh and it's a mercedes that's about all i know i know uh my buddy martin over in germany he has one of these in real life and his is uh his is very nice he drives around yeah right. keeping with the 60s we have whatever the heck that was a lincoln continental has the wood grain down it has the original white walls on it it's been customized and i do probably have another wheel for it in there it's everything's falling off these things guys had the screw in bottoms but the screws are missing there uh very dusty very dirty you can see interior Whew, what a dust bucket but uh it's got the custom grill on it and just broke a piece off. See, guys, these are very old cars. Need to be restored. That's a 1965. Uh, 65, whatever the heck it is. Lincoln Continental 
made into a custom wagon. And then we got a Riviera. I know it's a Ribby. Not for sure what year this sucker is. 65 Ribby. Red interior. Molded in white. Uh, painted purple. <laughs> oh yeah. Great color combination. 65 Ribby. Here is a falling apart, very badly painted Jaguar. It'd take a while to get the paint off that one. That one there is probably just a parts kit right there. It's it's pretty bad. But y'all take a look at that. Here's a cool little gem. That is a Ranchero, I do believe. And it's probably got the other wheel in there. Everything's falling off these things, guys. I don't even know what that bumper goes. That's a T-Bird bumper. <laughs> uh, you can see that comes off. It's molded in blue. Uh, is that even open? Yes, it does. Molded in blue. That is a heck of a good rebuilder right there, guys. Heck of a good rebuilder. You get some good stuff in here. This one here. That is an Impala. I do believe. Super Sport Impala. It's an original issue AMT. Right there. Gosh dang it, guys. If I can get in focus. Uh, the seats are falling out of there. There's the back tail lights. Uh, screw bottoms. Tail lights coming out of that one right there. Has no engine in it. I'm going to say that's a 67, guys. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. But that's another good gem. Uh. Look at this bad boy right here. I just built one of them. No, no, that's the AMT model. Never mind. This is the AMT molded in black. It's probably original issue. 53 Ford. It's been, well, it's kind of stock, I guess. It's got stock wheels on it. It's got the clip. That tells you right there that's the first issue. And it still works, too. Molded in black, guys. Pretty cool. Robert Tibbetts, you'd like that. Here is a very badly done. <laughs> uh, 49 Ford. That there is not very good, but it'd be good for parts. It's got the pie crust wheels in the back, so we know that's worth something right there just to take the wheels off of it. But yeah. Junk. <laughs> Let's see. Got the old monogram Mercedes hard top. Wheels off of it. Don't know. It might be in the box. It might be somewhere. I got one around here somewhere. There's that one. Sorry, guys. If it gets boring, I'm trying not to be boring, okay? Here is a, really don't know, I guess that'd be MPC maybe, maybe AMT, Monza. There's a wheel in it. It's originally molded in white. It's got the engine. I can't tell by the license plate what that year that is. Y'all tell me what year that is, but it's a Monza. I think that is a Chevy Monza. Y'all tell me if I'm wrong. Wheel's right there. I didn't even unwrap this one. That's, but it'd be the original issue monkeys mobile. It's old. Didn't even unwrap it. <laughs> you can tell I don't care for the monkeys mobile. Oh, 
guys i got stuff falling apart on me just reaching in there but there's a 39 39 panel don't know what the heck is going on back here if it's just i don't know he's cut the door out something i don't know where it comes off but nothing special 39 panel y'all know what that is that's a Ravel 56A Porsche Speedster. And there you go. You can see Ravel right there. I've built many of these. All you cord lovers, there's a cord. The top's in there too somewhere. Not for sure who makes that. I don't know if that's monogram or what. There's some glass tops in there. I'm going to say that's monogram. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. There's no cord. Here is. That would be a monogram. Thunder Chicken. I'm not for sure what year, 58. 58 Thunderbird. I think maybe the door's open. Yes, they do. Hood opens. Hood does open. Does have an engine. Top comes off. Thunder Chicken. Got a falling apart. Another 53. 53 Ford pickup, guys. There's the engine to it. There she is. Alright. Y'all have seen that. Yes, guys. A lot of these need a good restore. They need a good restore. This is the original issue rommel rod you can see it's a mercedes commander wagon made into a half track and it says something halton something german it's got the it's got the figures the glass the wheels it's got a damn one of them thingies it's got another one, and it's very, very crusty and dusty, but it don't look too bad, actually. Need a good clean up. Here's a 70s Corvette. I would figure that's AMT, might be MPC, not for sure. Y'all see that thing right there? <laughs> Heavily painted. I'm sure the wheel's in the box because everything's falling off everything. Yeah. Y'all bear with me. I'm reaching down in this box. I got several of these boxes. And here, guys, you tell me what that is. I can't even remember right now. Continental. The Lincoln Continental, I'm going to say that's a monogram. There she is, in all her glory. She can probably be restored or cleaned up, pull all the parts together there. And we have another one of them. That is a 40 model sedan delivery. And I didn't even open this one up, guys. That is a, I think that's monogram Mercedes. Let y'all see. I didn't even open that one up. Huh. I guess maybe because all the parts were really falling off of it at the time. Monogram Mercedes. Here is a Gangbusters. Uh, Chrysler, maybe. 
all the parts are to it, but it's falling apart. The wheels are down here in that box. But I got the Gangbusters Chrysler. And another Gangbusters. I think that's the Lincoln. Boy, it's coming apart. You remember uh, my buddy George gave this to Matthew at Model Car Videos, one still in the box. And uh, we unsealed it and gave it to Matthew to build, and he's built it. And it was molded in that same green. This one's never been painted. It's a little crusty and dusty. That'd be good restoration of rat rod material. Good rat rod material. Here is a 50, I'm going to say 57 Ford. That would have been an original issue right here. Doors open. Uh, of course, it's got an engine in it. Molded in white. Good old car. That's, that's actually a decent looking one right there. Uh, guys, I got parts out the butt falling off everything. I don't even know what half this stuff come off of. And this one here is a 51 Chevy, I do believe. Nothing special. That would have been a nice color back in the day. It's kind of metallic color. And then I got one of these down in this box. God, I got so much stuff coming off of it. I just left it in the box. But I got one of them monogram Duesenbergs. And all the parts are down in the box. All right. That'll be another box down other than I got that Joe Hen. That is a Joe Hen uh, 60 something police car. The lights and all the crap's down in it. It's very, very dusty and crusty. Let's see. I got a Johan 62 Dodge Dart Convertible. You can see right there. Only thing painted is the interior. I'm going to throw that over to the side. My thing's getting very dusty. Whew. Let's see. Here is an original uh, Johan. This in here will have should have screw bottoms. Sure does. It's got the screw bottoms and the metal axles. So that's an original Johan. And it's also, I think, a 62. It's a 62 Plymouth Fury, maybe? Plymouth Fury. And this one's been customized. It's got the big wide whites. Let's see. Here is a very awesome kit. This is the AMX stock version or whatever, you know. Uh, AMX. Let's see. If I can get the hood off this thing. Gosh dang it. There goes a mirror to it. Dead gimmick. There goes another mirror. Ah. There we go. Stock version AMX. Awesome. Now if I can throw my mirrors back in it. This right here is going to be... I'll dang sure be restoring this, guys. This is one of my favorite cars. Let's see. F82, that's a 61 or 62 F82. You can see what color's been molded in. It's kind of a, a funky yellow, mustard yellow looking. And he painted the chrome on it and painted the interior, but the rest of it's not been painted. One of the little pins off of it here. Throw that over to the side. And then, got me another one of these wagons. This old Plymouth, 1960 Plymouth wagon. And it's been molded in the yellow. 
Guys, I'm sorry if I'm boring you. I'm trying to get through it. And then I got a 62 original issue. Let's see, 62. I'm going to guess that's a Fury 2. Interior's painted black. You can see there. Kind of molded in that turquoise color. And then I got 60... 62 Chrysler 300. And these are all Johan, guys. These are all Johans. This one's molded in red. The only thing painted is the seat stuff on it. It's got the engine. If I can get it open. See? All the stuff's there for that. Here's another awesome one. Look there. That is a AMX javelin and this is the uh, snap version might as well say kind of like a, a promo but it's a snap version speaking of the snap version i got the snap version torino not for sure what year model torino that is molded in yellow and then i also got the snap version of the Cutlass. I think that's a Cutlass. Y'all tell me if I'm wrong. 75 Cutlass. Snap version of that. And then I got me. That's not a snap version. That is the 442. Molded in that color green. That funky color green. You can see right here. It's got the engine. It's been painted. This is a dang good restoration. I'll be restoring this. Love my Joe hands. Throw that one to the side. And then this Joe hand. And then that is the Chrysler 300. That's what color it's molded in. Whatever mustard yellow. The interior has been painted red. You can see the engine has been painted. So. All right, guys, that's all it's going to do for this video because I got too much. I, I have to break it up into little segments. This video is going to be too long. If you like what I'm doing, please like, share, and subscribe. Always hit your flea markets, yard sales, antique shops. That's where you get your good deals. Bye.